In this video, we're going to take a look at the future of Adobe Captivate. Hi everyone, Paul Wilson here today. I make YouTube videos about e-learning and of course, uh, Adobe Captivate, which is really what we're focusing on here today. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, set up notifications so that you'll be notified when new exciting videos like the one we're doing today are coming out. Today, I have a fantastic honor of having Sherith Ramaswamy from Adobe here, who's going to share some really cool stuff about the future of Adobe Captivate. So I'd like to welcome Sherith uh, to, the, to the video today and uh, I'll let her introduce herself and explain what she's going to show us today. Hi, Sherith. Hi, Paul, and thank you for join, uh, you know, inviting me to your uh, uh, webcast. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And I'm really looking forward to sharing all the exciting new things that we have planned for C Captivate uh, and give your users a sneak preview of it. Me too. All right. Well, let's, without further ado, let's go ahead and maybe you can share your screen. But before I begin, Paul, I'd just like to remind you and your viewers that these are all, all the features that I'm going to be sharing with you today. They're all in production, so they're not uh, ready yet. They're not fully ready yet. Uh, we are excited about uh, building it into our product, but um, you know the disclaimer here is that sometimes due to some extreme circumstances, it may not make it into the product. So I just want to put that out there, uh, but rest assured, unless the circumstance is really extreme, all these exciting features are going to be there. Okay, awesome. so um, let's start with the first one. So the first one, um, you know, we launched Adobe Captivate last year. We made it modern. We made it beautiful, lot of responsive, intuitive to use, and all that stuff. But our users, yeah, wanted something else. <laughs> so there was a lot of requests pouring in, and everyone wanted, and everyone we we had. I, I'm sure you would have heard it in your uh, from your users oh, as well. Yeah, of so course. It is, everyone <laughs> wants PowerPoint import, of course. <laughs> Yes, yes. And I'm thrilled to be showing you the new and improved PowerPoint import. So let me just uh, launch it. So for those sure. of you, for, for those viewers who have not seen the new and improved uh, Adobe Captivate, this is the interface. And you can see on the left, we have added another option which says import. And you can use this to import your PowerPoint file. So I'm going to select a file which I had created earlier in PowerPoint. And uh, you can see now that that entire PowerPoint file is being imported and all cool. the slides in your PowerPoint uh, project are now going to be added as slides within Captivate. So, and the big uh, announcement over here is that in the past, your slides were not editable. Whereas now in this new version of Adobe Captivate, everything you bring in. So you can see over here, you have a text um, there are images. You can see they're all layered one on top of the other. There are shapes. Yes, yes, we oh are adding goodness. shapes. We'll be bringing shapes in there. And you can see I can move the shape. Oh. I can resize so, the shape. <laughs> I thought when you said PowerPoint import, I was like, okay, yeah, it's going to be a screenshot yeah. of what PowerPoint was. But that is truly incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of features which our users have been asking for a while. You know, we're listening, we're hearing. It was just, you know, we needed some time to bring that in. And our team is working actively on everything that you're asking. So just want to assure you. Sure. So yes, as you can see, we have an entire panel of shapes. And yes, the unspoken question over here is, uh, you know, will there, will it be a bespoke learning experience? Can I just move things around? Absolutely. So you can see that over here. That is so can, cool. Yeah. I can like my that's... House. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And, I never thought this was going to be possible, but that really, you yeah. know, like I people like myself will probably be still be, you know, developing and designing natively in Adobe Captivate, but I know there's a, a huge audience of people who, you know, they get they get the software on Monday 
and their manager is saying, well, I need that e-learning course by Friday. And it's like, yes. well, I've got it in PowerPoint, but I don't know enough about Captivate yet. Yeah. So here's a question I have for you. What happens with responsive design in this uh, in this situation? So no, this will be a non-responsive project. So it okay. will not be well, automatically good. responsive. Yeah, but the fact is that it has all the other features of the new Adobe Captivate. So for example, see when I select this text box, on the right, you can see the PI panel, right? So you can do everything that you could do with the new Adobe Captivate. You can apply oh, presets, so cool. yeah, you can go and change the color of your text, um, you can edit the text. So in the past, you couldn't do this with a PowerPoint import, right? So you can- No, um, this is way more powerful. Yeah, and you can see over here, uh, I can uh, also, uh, create an interaction, add an interaction to my objects, which I've imported from PowerPoint. So I'm going to add a quick wow. navigation interaction over here. So it, it will take me to the next slide. Uh, even my shapes, I can add interactions to my shapes. So, you know, in the past, we've done a lot of custom interactions using the old Captivate. And this is, as you can see, brings all the power of the old Captivate into the new Captivate now, right? So these were a few missing pieces uh, in the ability to import uh, PowerPoint uh, and the ability to create a bespoke learning experience with shapes, which you can move around, all of that is possible. But of course, you know, this comes with a little bit of a restriction. It will not be autoresponsive, but you can then, you know, you will have to put in that effort to make it responsive if that is important for you. So, uh, and then as I mentioned, uh, you know, uh, text images, right? So the images you bring in here, you can edit it. So let's see, profile of a modern learner. Let's see, short attention span. Uh, so, you know, I thought, uh, uh, a goldfish. <laughs> it's funny, but if you think that's not appropriate, you can. Uh, no, you that's also okay. are going to introduce the AI assistant over here. So we did talk about AI. Yes. So as you can see, you can use the AI assistant within Adobe Captivate to generate. So here, let's say um, modern learner with a cell phone in the mountains or something like that right so you wanted to, you want to depict so the, you know as a developer usually uh, th these are challenges right you may not have the sure. skills to generate images and especially these custom images so then so we have brought that capability within adobe captivate so all the uh, power of fireflight you will now be able to incorporate so you can regenerate text you can regenerate your images so if you just select the text you can see it has uh, uh, opened the text generation prompt if you select the image it's opened the image generation prompt and so on and so forth so there's all this extra good stuff uh, which is also being added That's... to the new captivate um, which you can add to your PowerPoint project. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we can uh, edit, you can add your quiz questions. So here I have some uh, sample questions in a CSV file. So let me just quickly add it in here. Uh, so you can see the quiz questions are also brought in and your project nice. is ready. So let's now That's go and so take cool. a <laughs> so you can see now you you know you've used uh, existing PowerPoint deck. You made some changes to it. You added your quiz questions, and now let's go and preview it and see what it looks like.
and that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> Not bad for 10 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, you That's saw cool. the ad, uh, and you can also insert a slide and all all of, all of that good stuff. So so basically, you can just take a PowerPoint, you can bring it in, you can edit all the objects and the content mm -hmm. within the PowerPoint deck, then add your own content slides using all the uh, features of the new Captivate, like the widget, and you can add, um, you know, you can uh, use the existing templates which are here to build your slides yeah. uh, using all of that. So all the features of PowerPoint uh, of Captivate you can use to enhance your PowerPoint deck and then add some quizzes and publish it and you're done. Well, I think you've uh, you've increased the potential audience for Adobe Captivate here because there are so many, you know, PowerPoint gurus out there. You know, yeah. like in the same way that I might be an expert on Adobe Captivate, there, you know, there's literally millions of people who use PowerPoint and they're experts at it. They do it really well. There's a lot of bad PowerPoints out there as well, but <laughs> there's some people who are really good at producing some really amazing results. And now they can be Captivate developers as well. So that's Absolutely. fantastic. Yeah, That's yeah. Fantastic. I've, I've, I've been, I was managing a learning solutions team. I, I had these requirements as well, you know, where, where the, we had to create all these courses in a short amount of time. And this was a great way sure. to do that using the old Captivate. But now the advantage is I can edit it as well. Yes, that's yeah. huge. That's yeah. huge. Biggest complaint I would probably say people had was, you know, okay, I tried the import Captivate feature in Classic or, or when we were calling it 2019. Uh, but, you know, I just got a bunch of screenshots, not very dynamic, not very engaging and certainly not very interactive. So that that's a huge, huge plus that you're you're introducing there. I love it. Um, and the next big ask from our users has been, you know, being able to open projects from Captivate Classic in the new Adobe Captivate. So, um, oh, you know, okay. when. So when we launched the new Adobe Captivate, uh, it has been built on a completely new technology stack, right? So, and our focus was to bring in functionality, which was not there in the earlier version of Captivate. So we were focusing on auto-responsiveness, uh, mobile learning, uh, you know, modern interface, easy to use. So our focus was on that. But of course, you know, our intention was never to abandon our earlier users of Captivate Classic. So that's why we had both right. the products available. So if you had your older projects, uh, you can continue to work on Captivate, uh, on Cla Captivate Classic while we launched the new Captivate. But at uh, a point in the future, we definitely have plans to, uh, you know, have all the functionality in the new Adobe Captivate. And yes, we do not want you to abandon your old projects just because we have a new product on the shelf. Uh, so that is where we have in incorporated the ability to open and continue editing and updating your old projects in the new Adobe Captivate. So let's see how this is done. So cool. I'm going to uh, launch. Uh, this is, So the process is the same. So you just go click import and I have uh, picked up a project which is there on the e-learning community. It's on pool safety. Uh, so I'd mm. like to quickly import that and show you how it uh, uh, how it uh, imports into the new Adobe Captivate. And then I have so another a, project. Yeah. Sorry, that was a CPTX file you just opened, right? That's or correct. imported. I just imported okay, cool. it. Yes. So you can see over here, it's brought again, all the objects, um, it has brought it in. And uh, if oh, you look man. at, uh, yeah, yeah, so see, and uh, let's go and preview this. Uh, so you can see that uh, the old Cap uh, Captivate Classic project is now um, available on the new Adobe Captivate. So the project may feel a little dated. Pool safety tips. Learn ways to stay safe at the pool this summer. So you can see all the states, states of the oh, objects. Nice. <laughs> Spending the day at the pool is a great way to get exercise and keep cool in the summer. However, it is important that you know how to learn about pool safety. Click on each of the safety icons to reveal tips on how to be safe this summer at the pool. So you can see the interactions have come in. Uh, so this has a lot of uh, clickable uh, hotspots in them. Look before you dive. Diving into shallow water can cause serious or even strategies in a water emergency click on each of the buttons to reveal strategies on what to do if you find yourself in a water emergency try to keep your head above water if you can yeah 
If you get tired, float on your back so you are horizontal in the water. Take deep relaxing breaths and remain calm. Deep breathing will help keep your body floating. Congratulations. <laughs> you are now aware of ways to keep yourself safe at the pool. Yeah. So this That's is awesome. Fun. I know. <laughs> so this is, I know the project feels a little dated, but that's precisely that's okay. what you can do. You can import it into the new Captivate and then uh, you can update it. So um, this is another project which, uh, you know, we had, uh, uh, it's a, again a CPTX project, but it's on the e-learning mm -hmm. community. This project had a lot of different styles and layouts uh, which people would use to create a new project. So I thought that's a great example to share in our meeting today because it will sure. show you all the different types of layouts. So if you have created uh, any project using any of these layouts, you can you it'll uh, reassure you that this will come in um, uh, well. And uh, let's preview this quickly so that I can show you all the different things we have been testing. But of course, we understand that people have been using Captivate very creatively, right, in the past. So uh, we may not be able to test every feature uh, and uh, functionality and the way in which uh, it's been uh, used. Uh, so we want to, when we launch this uh, functionality, uh, we will uh, first launch it in a beta uh, phase where you, you can test it. And if there's any problem, you can let us know. Once we are able to test and our, our users are comfortable with the, the feature, that's when we will go live with it. So you can see over here, the animations have come in and uh, this is a module introduction layout. Uh, this is something with the text and character layout. Um, this is a text and image layout. And uh, there's a quote layout, text and infographic layout. So if you've used any of these uh, templates or you uh, created your old Captivate courses using any of these layouts and formats, uh, please be assured that uh, you know it will be um, it will work. So this is an interaction. Um, uh, it's Very a branching cool. interaction. So you can see you have the multi states um, which are there. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the grid with text layout. So I just thought this was a good example to share because it shows you all the different, uh, most of the uh, different uh, layouts and interactive uh, uh, styles and ideas uh, that people would have used um, in the past. Uh, but again, it's going to be impossible to test everything because Captivate has been around for more than two decades now and there's no yes. way we can test all of that. <laughs> yeah, um, so That's you can see the process. Though, but... I yeah. honestly didn't think, <clears throat> like I sort of thought, you know, because I know that early on people were asking for this. And yeah. I know sort of the stock answer from Adobe was always that, yeah, we're working on something, but, you know, it, it may not be, this is as close to perfect, really, a solution as you could you could ask for. Because I sort of thought, well, you know, what they'll do is they'll have something that you know imports the material into a library and then you still have to do a lot of work to get it to where it was but yeah. i mean this is almost complete like you could you can import your old captivate projects yeah. and maybe do a little tweaking just to modernize them a bit and yes. maybe update the content but you know i didn't think it would be this effortless you know and this <laughs> is really cool yeah, yeah. No, and, uh, you know, anything, like, we just don't want to pick it up. And the reason it's taking us this long is because we don't want to just pick it up and bring it over, right? We want to ensure that we improve it, we modernize it, we improve the workflow. So uh, so that, that's the reason we are taking our time. Even with the PowerPoint import, it would have been very easy for us to just bring that functionality into the new sure. Captivate. But we didn't yeah. want to do that. We wanted to do it the right way. We wanted to, because the whole uh, goal and uh, the mission over here with the new Adobe Captivate is to make it easy to use, is to improve your yeah. productivity and all of that good stuff. So, so and I think we have done that we've been doing a pretty good job of that so and the new product is shaping to be a, a an authoring tool which you can use in different scenarios you want to build a quick course you want to make it auto responsive you want to now make it um, non responsive that's also fine you want to import a powerpoint you want to open your old project and update it all that is now possible so uh, cool. 
Yeah, so it gives you a lot of pleasure to sh be able to answer those questions. I know we've been mm -hmm. giving you a very <laughs> safe answer. We're like, we're working on it, yes. we're working on it. But uh, another thing I want to call <clears throat> out here, Paul, is I want to assure yeah. everyone, uh, I know we had mentioned that we're going to sunset Captivate Classic in another five years, and we are, you know, a year into it already. But I just want to assure you that's that's not uh, that's not written in stone. So we are going to be flexible we are going to give our, our users enough time. Uh, so once we launch um, this functionality, the ability to import it, we will give you enough time to test it and then to migrate your courses uh, and only Absolutely. then stop supporting Captivate Classic. So I just want to assure everyone out there who's concerned, uh, please don't be concerned. We are here to support you. We will help you bring your projects into this. You've been our loyal yeah. customers uh, for the last two decades, and we are not going to abandon you or your projects. Uh, we are here to help you. Uh, you know, we are, help, we are here to uh, bring all the new modern technology which is happening around the world to you, uh, but also at the same time supporting all the work you've done in the past. Yeah, I've always been very impressed with the fact that you've made Captivate Classic available simultaneously and for no extra money, yeah. you know, to to current Captivate users. Because again, you know, you could have just easily, you know, discontinued Classic Captivate and, you know, sorry, too bad. That's just the way it is. But, you know, you've been very inclusive with, uh, with the software and making sure that people can, you know, uh, uh, take that time needed to to transition from the old to the new. So that's really great. Yes, and please keep your feedback pouring in because, you know, we are listening and uh, we are, uh, there is, there's so much to do. There's so, so much new innovation happening. There's just all this great stuff which we have built over the last 20 years and bringing all that into a new, new product, we have to prioritize. So, you know, we'd love to hear you. If, you. if it's important to you, it is blocking your work please let us know. We have our user voice and, you know, we are taking all your suggestions into consideration. Um, so that's it with these two new features, uh, these two features which our users have been asking, but now I want to show you something brand new. So this okay. is a grand uh, new reveal. So this, with this, I introduce you to the new Adobe Captivate web. <laughs> so yes, we what? are now also going to launch the web version of our product. Uh, so Captivate is not restricted to your desktop alone. You can now uh, log in. And with this new product, there's no installation needed, uh, automatic updates every time we launch a new version. Uh, it will be automatically updated here. And you can see over here, you can create a project from scratch. So you can just click this, and this is going to create a new project. Uh, you can upload a project which was created in uh, using your desktop version of Captivate. So we are looking at um, you, know, you being able to open those projects uh, in the web version. And then um, these are some additional workflows we're working on. So you can use AI to create a new project. So, um, you know, the auto generation capability you just give. I've, we have, yeah, I've shown you a demo of this before. This is coming soon. It's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. But here you just give the title, you give the, an objective and the audience, and it'll automatically create your course using AI. And then over here, uh, you can create it from featured uh, quick start projects. So these are um, new um, workflows which will also be added. Uh, and uh, all these projects are now going to be saved on the Adobe Cloud. So uh, so you can then uh, access any of the courses um, that you've created before from the web. And uh, the biggest um, thing over here is the web collaboration capability. So anything that you, uh, uh, that you create over here, you can collaborate and you can add, uh, uh, you can share it with another author. So you can see on the top banner over here, there is an option to invite people. So you can now co-author oh, cool. a course. Yeah, you can invite people okay. and, uh, you know, the multiple uh, developers can work on the same project together. Uh, so this is another feature we are adding. We had shared the share for review where you could invite people to review your courses. Now yes. you can also invite people to author your courses. And you can see Very that. Cool. Yeah, and this web version has 
all the power, all the features of the desktop version of Captivate, right? The new Adobe Captivate. So you can see over here, all the slide templates are there. So you can um, create um, a project using this. You can add these blocks. Um, you can add your oh, media I thought it would be to slower it. too, but that seems pretty quick. Like, <laughs> yes, that, uh, that looks good. Yeah. And you can see over here all the features like we just recently oh, launched the so uh, cool. question pool capability. So you can see that it is. Yeah, here, yeah. Right. And uh, so wow. anything, um, you know, when we uh, uh, introduce a new feature, uh, it will be available on the web version. I think a little faster than the <laughs> desktop version, but yeah. uh, we will make sure that all the features when we launch it will be uh, in both. So you won't need to use two separate products, right? You will just have this one wow. product with all the features um, uh, that cap and the power of Captivate. So you can see I oh. added uh, some content slides in here. Let me sure, add yeah. some widget as well. So you can see you can add your widgets and all the panels on the right, the PI panels, which will let you edit this further. They're all here on the right. So let us just go and um, you know, the interactions, uh, the animations, uh, the wow. audio, the accessibility, all that. So you can see all this is very similar. Uh, the only uh, uh, functionality which is not there is the simulation capture because you're already on the web. Sure. So you will need to use yeah. the desktop version for that, right? But otherwise, all these features are there. So let me just show you the project which I just imported, uploaded from the desktop. So this is the one I had created. This has a lot of functionality already in it. So let me just, uh, let's just preview it and see it so uh you know the user interactive component so this is a project where i'll just quickly walk you through it so that you can see how this is imported into the uh, into the web so here mm -hmm. this is a project i created using a input box where you can personalize your course and you can see it has personalized it's added my name here and then um, there are these um, uh, branching uh, uh, slides uh, which i've added uh, this is an interactive video, so you can see that interactive videos also work and can be created cool. in the uh, you know web version. So we're here at Adobe's head. So you can see uh, the two different uh, slides uh, overlays um, in your interactive video. Uh, we have that and the feedback, you know, it's working over here. So everything that I built uh, in the quarters in downtown San Jose. Uh, using the desktop version, uh, it has seamlessly uh, been uploaded to the web version, and I can now use this here. So, uh, so this is a. Pro uh, uh, so here you can see we have links. So I'm just quickly walking you through all the features which are there. So this is the long scroll format. So this is also mm -hmm. there, uh, and uh, let's. Um, look at uh, anything else which and you can see that the forced navigation that's also there so you can see this widgets um mm -hmm. in the forced uh, this navigation Excellent. is enabled only when uh, the learner so this is a custom interaction i created uh, which shows a block only when a particular option is selected in the drop down so all these custom interactions, the widgets, which are uh, pre-designed uh, interactions, the quizzes, um, so all, all, all this is now, um, you know, you can create a, a very engaging course um, using all the powerful features of this on the web. So, you know, anywhere, you, wherever you go, uh, you can access this. You don't have to have the desk, the laptop or the, the machine on which it's been uh, uh, loaded uh, to work on it. So you can see all the functions over here are working. Now uh, let's look at another uh, project which I um, opened from the thing. So this is a long scroll course, uh, which I picked up from the uh, from the Adobe Cloud. Uh, so this was saved over there. So you can see uh, with the new Adobe Captivate Web, you can create your course using any of these four workflows. Uh, and uh, you know all the files that you create will be available on the cloud, and uh, you can invite folks to edit it. So this is the new Adobe Captivate. Cool. So I like right off the bat, I think you know I'm um, going on vacation tomorrow, and mm -hmm. I'll be heading to Mexico, and I don't like to bring my laptop with me, but mm -hmm. I do bring other devices as well, like tablets, smartphones. I don't expect you could do this on a smartphone, but certainly, you know, maybe a larger tablet 
uh, if there was like, not that there are too many e-learning emergencies, but let's say a client reached out to me and said, oh, I need this one change. I need it to be implemented uh, as quickly as possible. In theory, maybe it's still early days, but in theory, I could just do that on my tablet because I don't, you know, even though it, it's not Windows, it's not Mac, I could open it up in a browser and take care of those changes, publish it out and send them the updated SCORM package, let's say. That's that's really incredible. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think uh, this, uh, you know, it's a, it, you're all very excited about this new product and uh, we'll be launching it sometime next year. So with that, uh, let's now come to the next um, thing. So let me just uh, show you the AI uh, feature again, because I would love to show you AI voices that we are now going to be adding to Captivate. So let me oh, just... Oh, cool. This is one that <laughs> I've asked for a lot, because obviously the text-to-speech technology in Captivate really hasn't changed very much in quite a few years. So yes. So, um, so while I'm showing you that, I thought, let me just yeah. use the AI assistant to create an AI-generated course, um, sure. just, just so that we can use that to test out our AI voices. So let me just maybe uh, delete some slides here in the interest of time. Um, so that... Um, I still, I'm st yeah, I know you showed that to me last year, and that is uh, such a neat feature, such a cool feature. Um, yes. I'm I really I'm looking forward to that. And I think it's important to note just a little thing like saying a lot of people are very nervous about AI as well. And I think it's important to note like what one of the um, things that I've heard said a lot is that, you know, as e-learning designer developers, we're not going to be replaced by AI. But instead, those of us who understand how to utilize that technology, we are mm -hmm. the ones who are going to have that competitive edge. And I think that's the really cool part. And this looks amazing, by the way. Holy smokes. <laughs> that's like yeah. seconds. Yeah. No, and uh, <laughs> so see, cool. our goal of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, with all the AI innovation we are doing is, is to make it easier for you. So we understand most uh, learning teams are lean and, you know, you're, you're understaffed. Uh, there's so much, so much, you know, the technology is changing. So the training has to be developed. It has to be updated. And just, you know, we're just you know, always rushing to build these courses. So we are looking at technology and bringing technology which will help you where you don't have enough resources, like not enough people to develop all the, the huge, uh, sure. big, hairy ass which come your way. Uh, two is also skills, right? Sometimes you want to create those beautiful graphics and add it to your courses, but you may not have the budget to hire a graphic designer and you may not have the budget to use, um, you know, some stock photography, for example. So you may want to yeah. create that yourself or you may not have the skills to create a custom image. So then, you know, you have the AI assistant, so you can just select it and you can give the prompt and, you know, it'll generate um, image. And so all this uh, within the development environment itself, it's, it's going to help you save time. It's going to make you more productive. And as you rightly said, um, you know, all this is... You, it cannot replace you. You need to choose, right? You need to curate the content. Like you cannot mm. just uh, let AI do its thing because you don't know what's there, what it's going to create. So you have to be there. So, um, so but this is going to save you a lot of time so you can have more courses out there which are like more uh, engaging, you know, has great images in it. Uh, and mm -hmm. the text also. So you can see over here, I can just go and say, um, origins of Halloween as explained to a five-year-old. So, and it will just generate all this um, good stuff. So I'm just going to generate this content uh, just so that nice. I can, uh, yeah. So I let me just uh, pick up some uh, text from here. Um, okay. Uh, and now let me show you the AI uh, voice of functionality. Um, so I will go to the audio, import audio feature, and then over here, let's do the generate text to speech. And I can type my audio in here. So let me just maybe delete some of it. 
one. Let me just keep it. So let me let's go into these voices and let's just hear some of them. So as you can see over here, a lot. These are just samples, by the way. Uh, there'll be a lot uh -huh. more voices. So, but you can select from all these languages. You have an accent as well. So if you choose English and you have, uh, you know, multiple accents within it. Oh, these cool. are just okay. three over here. So if you wanted an American accent or an Indian accent, you can have that. You can choose a gender. You can use a tone. Um, you can um, use uh, the content style. So let's just look at all these. I'll just no, start. no Canadian accent, eh? <laughs> 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 no, that'll definitely come when we get everything in. So sure, let me yeah. show you some of these voices. So let's listen to Jeremy. It's so intense. Okay. I swear throughout the entire comic, I had heavy metal music playing back in my head. <laughs> oh, so that th is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and this is that the... Ignite your passion, chase the stars, and dance with uncertainty. Embrace the... <laughs> so you can see uh, it's that not just so about cool. uh, human-like voice. This is about adding uh, some additional tones and, uh, you know, uh, styles to your uh, audio as well. So, and uh, you can see here, it's... Uh, современной истории есть промежуток времени. We have different languages. So this is the accent I was talking about. This is an Indian uh, uh, female accent. You're right. I think we figured it out, Lawrence. You're a genius. So you can see, um, you know, there are all these different... Like, to me, that's just, uh, that's, oh, like, I, I know I've been promoting, um, you know, my audience will know that I've been promoting other products. I won't even say who, but, uh, <laughs> you know, when it comes to text-to-speech, because, yeah. you know, and I, I, it's been a long time since I've, uh, I've been using Adobe Captivate since version 2, and I think the big one for me was around version five, when four or five, when when voices showed up, but they were awful. They didn't mm -hmm. sound human at all. And uh, this is a game changer feature for me in particular because, yeah. you know, I'm I'm a contracted uh, uh, e-learning designer developer, and if I can have one tool that does my voices, it does the AI generation, it does the uh, AI generation of images, because I'm jumping back and forth between products right now. I'm going to use that other um, voice technology, and I'm using Firefly, which is also Adobe, but it's still I still have to go into another application or browser to to do that. And if you can put it all in my single tool here like this, yeah. that's a game changer for me. I'm sure that's going to save not only me, but countless developers, a huge amount of time, for yes. sure. Yes, absolutely. And on that note, I would like to now show you our uh, other feature, other new feature, which is... Uh, I thought that was uh, it. I thought <laughs> it's like, and there's one more surprise. <laughs> there's one big surprise. So okay. this is a video because this is it's in a very initial stages of development. Yeah, okay, um, so sure. So I'm going to show you this. Um, so over here, this is our text to avatar uh, uh, functionality. So yes, avatars are not just in James uh, Cameron's okay. movies anymore. <laughs> we are bringing it to Captivate. <laughs> cool. And so what you see over here on this video, this is a PowerPoint slide. Right. Yeah. So this is a PowerPoint and you can see in the notes section that is where the script for the audio is. So each of these slides has uh, some script here, which will be used, um, uh, you know, to uh, add a voice to the avatar. So this is a PowerPoint deck. This is not in Captivate yet. So we, uh, we're just showing you a deck with notes in it, which you're saving. And now we're going to launch uh, Captivate. Uh, and you're going to import this PowerPoint um, into Captivate. Uh, and when you import it, you can see you're shown a list of avatars. You can choose from any one of them. And on the right, you can test the narration, right? So you can test and uh, uh, okay. review the audio, which will be associated with that avatar. And once you're comfortable, you can insert this avatar into your slides. So you can see there's a small thumbnail on each slide. And if you select the appropriate icon in the PI panel, you can see that you can now see all the notes which were in the PowerPoint notes section, which are brought over here. Uh, and then you can make any changes to it if you want. You can go and edit this text if you want to change the audio bit. And you can see that the avatar thumbnail itself, you can reposition it, you can resize it. Uh, 
on each slide. So you have the flexibility uh, to go and uh, you know place it wherever you want uh, on each mm -hmm. of the slides. And in addition to that, on the right hand side, you can go and edit the text uh, and uh, you know review that. So once you're uh, comfortable, you've uh, positioned all the avatars, uh, the avatar on each slide uh, appropriately, and you've uh, made the changes to the text on the right. Uh, you can then go and preview the uh, the whole uh, course. So over here, um, right now, uh, what's going to happen is this text is going to be converted to audio, and then that audio is going to be lip synced with the avatar. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's see the preview. A warm welcome to everyone. I am Stephanie, Adobe AI Assistant Avatar. Today, we will be discussing the critical role the environment plays in sustaining life on Earth and how human activities like industrialization and urbanization are accelerating environmental degradation. I already know what course I'm putting in this summary, in. In summary, the current environmental <laughs> situation so is alarming cool. with rising pollution and resource depletion. It's essential to assess how human activities... So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, all those sci-fi movies... Yeah, they're, they're yeah. coming to me. No, there you go. <laughs> That's incredible. I have so yeah. I've I'm working on a course, a series of courses right now, and uh, what I've started to do is, you know, the old classic thing. We got the voiceover narration, and then I'll take a series of four or five different stills of my cutout character, and I'll animate them. And I don't even think the word animates right. You know, it's where you, uh, you know, you do a, a fade transition between one image and the other, and that's the best I could hope for. And this is this is actually a classic Captivate project, just because of you know supporting their legacy courses. But you know, just doing that that very simple animation of a cutout character, and it's like I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> I've got something, you know, so yes, when this yeah. comes, I know it's early days, but when this comes out, I yeah. totally, totally will be using that feature. That is huge. Yeah. yeah. So Fantastic. we have a whole lineup of uh, very exciting, innovative features, some which our users have been asking for a while, some which are absolutely new, innovative uh, stuff going on in the world right now. And, uh, you know, so it's a very exciting year ahead for us at Captivate. So, you know, please be tuned in. And, uh, Paul, we are going to give you a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to do it. I'm happy Lord, to do it. Yeah. We're going to give that so many things coming out. So you, you're going to be busy making your videos. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm very happy to do it. Obviously, you know, the YouTube yeah. thing is, is something yeah. that I do, uh, you know, to kind of promote my business because, you know, my real job is being an e-learning designer developer, but you've made that job so <laughs> much easier by introducing these fantastic features. I'm so looking forward to it. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.